Hi everybody, it's your favorite English teacher here, Amy Joy, and today I am going to share with you a unique and special way to use the present perfect. Some mistakes that I have seen my students make, some ways to improve them, and then we will go ahead and practice. So to give you some context, my students and I were discussing minority representation in Hollywood and in the media. Basically, Hollywood has a history of hiring white actors to play roles of people of color. And this is a very big debate, and I can make a separate video on that whole topic and share that with you, but that is the topic we were discussing. So my students started saying things like this. Hollywood starts to pay more attention to hiring women and people of color. Another one, after a lot of criticism, Hollywood stops hiring white actors to play people of color. And number three, after the hashtag Oscars so white, Americans become more aware of the problem of representation in the media. Now, you might be surprised to learn that all of these sentences are incorrect, or they are at least incorrect for what my students wanted to express. So let's take a quick look and compare the correct use of the simple present with what my students were saying and how to fix it. Now remember, we use the simple present to talk about habits or actions that happen all the time, kind of like with schedules or things that regularly occur. For example, number one says, Hollywood starts its award season in December. Every December, Hollywood starts, and we can use the simple present. But let's look at my student's original sentence. Hollywood starts to pay more attention to hiring women and people of color. This is not something that happens all the time or happens regularly. In fact, my students want to express that some people in Hollywood recently started, but more people are still starting today. This is describing a gradual process of change or a change in society. And we actually have to use the present perfect. So we would say Hollywood has started to pay more attention to hiring women and people of color. Number two says film crews stop filming when the director says they're done. Again, this is just a fact of when film crews stop filming, when the director says they're done. So we know this is a regular occurrence. You can also think of it like a habit or just a fact. But let's look at number two from my students. After a lot of criticism, Hollywood stops hiring white actors to play people of color. Again, this is not something that regularly occurs, but rather something that some people have stopped but other people are continuing to stop today. So again, this is more of a societal change or something that has happened recently and is still continuing today. And to express the idea that my students wanted, we need to say Hollywood has stopped hiring white actors to play people of color. And number three, another correct use of the simple present Sometimes celebrities become annoyed when fans ask for autographs. Here we see the word sometimes, and that indicates something that happens often or that is a fact. So sometimes celebrities become simple present. But let's look at number three from my student. After the hashtag Oscars so white, Americans become more aware. Again, Americans do not become regularly, it's not on a schedule, but some Americans became in the past and some are still in the process of becoming. Because there are so many Americans, we cannot all become at the same time or on a regular schedule. So what happens is we have to use the present perfect to describe that some people became and others are also in the process of becoming. So we are going to say, after the hashtag Oscars so white, Americans have become more aware of the problem of representation in the media. 
So what my students really wanted to express is not a habit or something that regularly occurs, but rather a global change or a societal change or a process of change. Maybe something that started in the past with a few people and then continued into the present. So basically, many people changing over a period of time. And this can be very confusing with verbs like start, stop, begin, because we think about these actions as happening at a single point in time. But if you are considering an entire society or an entire group of people, not everyone starts at the same time or stops at the same time, especially with changes in society. People gradually change. And so that is why we will be using the present perfect because some people started in the past, but more people are continuing throughout the present. Now, I know that my students know the rules of the present perfect. They know that we should use the present perfect for an action that started in the past and continues to today. And we can also use the present perfect for completed past actions that have a connection to the present. But what I notice among my students is they don't make the connection of those rules that we know in our head and that are in the textbooks to the situation of societal changes, which is why I want to give you these examples and show you that the rules we already know apply to this context. And as a writing instructor, one of the most common places I see my students making mistakes with this is right in the first sentence of their papers or somewhere in the introduction. In university, we often have to write papers for the humanities, which focus on society and social movements. And so in certain papers about these topics, we have to give the background information or what has happened recently in society. So let me give you a few examples of how you might use this grammar point in an introduction. First, maybe a paper describing the change of women working during COVID-19. You might say, due to COVID-19, many women have stopped working in order to help their kids with school. Notice we have many women. They did not all stop at the same time. It was kind of a gradual process. So we're going to use the present perfect. Another one, with the development of social media, Many teenagers have started using face filters and Photoshop to change their appearance. Again, we have like a recent social change with this social media. And so we are going to have something that started in the past with some teenagers, but they are always continuously starting to use this new technology. So we will say many teenagers have started. And one more example. Society has begun to change how they view gender. Again, it takes a long time for an entire society to change how they think. And so with recent social movements, we often use the present perfect to say that some people have started, but more people are on this process of changing as well. So society has begun to change using the present perfect. Now, I am not saying that we always use the present perfect with these verbs of change. There are many situations in which you will use the simple present or the simple past or other verb tenses. But what I am saying is that we often use the present perfect with these verbs. And I have noticed that my students tend to avoid using the present perfect with these verbs and in the end, choose the wrong verb tense. Now, another place that you will commonly see this grammar point is in the news. The news is always updating us on social movements and changes in society. So let's take a look at this Instagram post from NPR. It says, Issues of equality and acceptance of transgender and non-binary people, along with challenges to their rights, 
have become a major topic in the headlines. So we have issues of equality have become a major topic in the headlines. So these issues started to become popular in the past, but still are becoming popular today. Again, something that started in the past and continues to the present. Notice we did not use the simple present and say issues become popular because they are not becoming popular every week as a habit or a fact. And we didn't say that they became popular because it's not a completed action. It is kind of somewhere in between. We have the issues, they became popular recently, and they are still becoming a major topic in the headlines today. So again, we're going to use the present perfect. All right, now that you are aware of this very specific grammar point, I would like to give you the opportunity to practice. But before we move on to our practice activity, I would really appreciate it if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification button so that YouTube will send my videos to other students. So here are 10 sentences, and I want you to choose if you should use the simple present to express a habit or a fact or something that happens all the time versus the present perfect with these verbs of change. Go ahead, answer the questions, and I will see you afterward to go over the answers. I hope you're finished. Let's go over your answers. Number one, the debate of who should stay home with children has become a big gender issue recently. So in some places, this issue became a big issue, but in other places, it is still becoming. So since this issue has started to become a big issue in the past and continues to today, we're going to use the present perfect has become. Number two, Many women around the world have begun to work. So balancing work and home has become an important topic. Since we are talking about an issue that is worldwide, different countries are in different places with this topic. So in order to indicate that some people started in the past and some people are continuing now, we are going to say have begun and has become. All right, number three, the government has started protecting women's rights by implementing laws. Now, the government is a big group of people and they are always implementing laws. So this is something that has started in the past, but it can still continue into the present. And number four, sometimes movies begin with opening credits. Here we can see that we are talking about a fact about movies. Sometimes they begin with opening credits. Simple present, it is a habit, it is kind of a fact, something that regularly occurs. Number five, cryptocurrency has changed how people invest their money. Cryptocurrency is relatively new and some people have started to change how they invest their money and other people are continuing to adopt this habit. So we are going to use the present perfect because this is a big societal change, something that started in the past, but people are continuing to do today. Now, number six is a little bit different. It says the value of cryptocurrency changes all the time. So here we have a verb of change, the word change, but since this is a regularly occurring fact, habit, we have the time word all the time, we are going to use the simple present to indicate this habit. Number seven, cases of COVID-19 
have started to decrease. So here it's 2021, we've got our vaccine. Things have started, they started in the past to decrease, but they are gradually decreasing even more. So again, we're gonna use the present perfect to talk about this global change, this societal change, and say cases of COVID-19 have started to decrease. And moving on to number eight, due to the pandemic, people have become more comfortable using video calling software. So in the past, some people started becoming comfortable, but as we move through this pandemic, people are continuing to become comfortable. Let's go on to number nine. Using gender neutral pronouns has become a hot topic in politics and education. This issue started in the past but as we discuss this topic as a country, it is still continuing to become popular today. And lastly, number 10, whenever the media asks the president hard questions, he becomes annoyed. Here we are going to use the simple present because this is something that happens all the time. Whenever the media asks the president a hard question, he becomes annoyed. This is a fact. This is a habit of the president, and it is appropriate to use the simple present here. Okay, I hope you got all of those right. And to give you even a little bit more practice, I would love to see in the comments below what your country or what your society has started, stopped, or begun doing. Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Bye!